it's News Nation. We're new and we're different. At News Nation, we are telling stories that matter to you and your family. And people are taking notice. If you're watching News Nation, we thank you. Now tell your friends. If you're looking for news without the noise, come back to something different. Come back to the news the way it used to be. Tell your friends why. News Nation is news for all America. Your weekend news, weather, and fun start Saturdays and Sundays at 6. Today at 7, how you can foster a puppy for Guide Dogs of America on the KTLA 5 Weekend Morning News. Good morning, everyone. I'm Erin Myers here in Mar Vista. COVID-19 cases are on the rise in L.A. County, leading school officials to have concerns about spring break. I'll have the details coming up. Also in the Sunday morning, we're following breaking news out of Riverside. An early morning head-on collision takes the lives of two people. What we know this morning about what happened. And first, it was a recall. Now it's a shortage. Baby formula is in severely short supply right now. What parents are being told not to do. And we are waking up to cloudy skies and cooler weather. We'll talk about who could see some rain tomorrow. That's all coming up. Good morning to you. Welcome to the KTLA Morning News. It is 6 a.m. I'm Lynette Romero. And I'm Mark Mester. We're going to get right to the news of the day. There is breaking news out of Covina, where L.A. sheriffs are now investigating what led a deputy to shoot and kill a man at a liquor store. It happened last night at about 10 o'clock at the corner of East Arrow Highway in Citrus. Now, it's unknown how or why officers encountered the man, but at some point, they opened fire. He was taken to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. No officers were hurt. The L.A. County Sheriff's Department is asking anyone with information to contact them. And we have more breaking news. This is in Riverside County. CHP saying that two people were killed and another two were seriously hurt when a wrong way driver collided head on with another car. This happened on the 74 freeway just after two o'clock this morning, right near Hammock Avenue. CHP says the drivers of both vehicles were traveling at very high speeds. When officers got to the scene, they pronounced the victims dead at the scene. The passengers inside the uh, inside the victim's vehicle were rushed to the hospital. They're currently listed right now in critical condition. As LA County continues to see a slight uptick in coronavirus cases with the BA2 subvariant, spring break is getting underway for a whole lot of people. Now, health officials are concerned that cases could increase even more, and they are looking at steps to take to try to combat that. KTLA's Aaron Myers is live in Mar Vista with more on that. Aaron. Good morning, Lynette. Good morning, Mark. Spring break is ending for some districts, starting for LAUSD tomorrow. So school officials are hoping students will get tested before coming back next week, at least in Los Angeles uh, United School District. We're here outside of Beethoven Early Education Center here in Mar Vista, and they do have a testing site that will be open this week. The district will be offered testing Monday through Thursday at various locations. Since mask orders were lifted in schools, school outbreaks have been on the rise with more than a dozen reported between March 30th and April 5th. LAUSD superintendent is emphasizing the importance of students and staff using take home COVID-19 tests before they return to class after vacation. Some districts such as Burbank and Pasadena Unified go back to school tomorrow. And of course there is that in person option. Now LA County health officials want LA residents to take precautions during the spring holidays as well. The increase in cases said to be because of the BA2 subvariant of Omicron, which health officials say is more infectious. Dr. Barbara Ferrer said, though the county has made great strides in keeping outbreaks low through safety measures, there are still millions of vulnerable residents. So precautions such as getting vaccinated or boosted, wearing a mask in indoor public places, and getting tested before any gatherings can help protect the most vulnerable. As of Friday, the county's average number of daily new cases reported over the last seven days increased 23% from the week before. Officials say if the virus continues to spread, there isn't an increased chance of mutations, which could mean more severe illness and the ability to evade vaccine protections. Fortunately, we have not seen a rise in hospitalizations or deaths with the increase of BA2, but uh, this is still causing concern uh, for some residents. Yes, I'm concerned. You know, I wear masks whenever uh, possible, especially indoors, you know, when there's large, large amounts of people. But uh, I can't wait till this thing is over. Taking precautions, making sure that you don't like go to gatherings that are too much because obviously you can still live your life and like do things but just make sure that you're doing it knowing like what environment you're in. 